Good afternoon and welcome to 15 Upton Lane, which is obviously situated in Upton, but it's one of Upton's foremost and finest addresses. We've got the golf course just behind the houses bit opposite us, um, but here on this side of the road, we've got it in a really good elevated position. It's great this side of the road if you want to take your children to the school as well, because this is the side that's got the pavements on Upton Lane. And at the top of the lane is a really good primary school. Further beyond, you've got a secondary high school in Upton as well. And there are alternatives within Upton. There's Acresfield, there's Western Grove, amongst many primary schools in Upton. So Upton's a really good area, particularly with families for that reason. So we come up this incline of a driveway, which really makes you feel a long way back from the road. If you were to park on the incline as well as a driveway, the owners have told me they've parked four cars very, very easily, consistently at the front. But if you had a party, I think you'd get several, several cars here. You've got a detached single garage just to the side of us here. And again, what I really love is the owners have really tended and cared for this garden at the front. They've kept it out, they've inherited it, which, was, which is open plan with next door. But it's got these lovely low maintenance borders. Just gives you a real fine start to the viewing. So 50 Upton Lane is a four slash five bedroom detached family home, which has been really cleverly and well extended to the rear. It provides at least four first floor bedrooms as well as a ground floor bedroom next to a wet room. So again, if you had a dependent, dependent relative, absolutely ideal. But it's got really well planned, well looked after quality accommodation in a great location with an Upton. So let me show you around the property. So the first thing we see is this double glazed composite entrance door as we come into the entrance hall with a vertical radiator here. Excuse me. And then we've got one of the original living rooms here with the original woodblock parquet flooring. You've got a living flame gas fire. So this has a real cozy feel, this room, bay window to the front, and you're overlooking that lovely front garden. Neutrally decorated with these lovely oak and glazed effect doors. Staircase to the first floor, and then we step into the entrance hall, where we've got this oak panelled flooring, which has been put in to replicate the age of the property. And at the front of the building, we've got a really well-planned, well-worked study. It's got a built-in computer desk, all the plugs you would need um, for getting obviously computer printers on and a double storage cupboard. There's a further deep understair storage cupboard here, ideal for putting your coats away. So coats and shoes go in there, thank you. And then we've got a nice family room or a potential fifth bedroom or both. If you've got a relative that stays every now and again and doesn't particularly like stairs, this is an ideal room. You've got French doors at the back so they could let themselves in without, without coming through the house. It would be a good sized double bedroom, but it's actually been used recently as more of a family room, a secondary room for when the children want to watch something different on the TV. But again, if, as soon as the sun comes out, they're straight onto the garden. So really, really like this room. It's got loads of uses. And again, these internal doors. And then next door, as alluded to, is the wet room, which was put in with the purpose of a, an elderly relative being able to stay over here. So. Nice non-slip wet room floor with underfloor heating and it lowers down into the walk-in shower. Every shower in the property has got one of these Aqualisa digital systems which allows you to set the shower temperature. Um, you set here and then it bleeps and flashes and shows you when it's at the exact right temperature so you get it into the perfect, perfect temperature of shower. You've got the overhead uh, waterfall style shower head and then the further handheld. So really comfortable, fully towered shower room Nice and big, mirror with lighting, chrome heated towel rail just behind the door. So onwards, through the next lovely internal door, we've got a useful utility room here with these really nice oversized ceramic tiles. You've got granite worktops, which you won't always see in a utility room with your wash machine and tumble dryer just here. We've got a wall mounted combination um, control boiler, but it's actually got a pressurized cylinder because they've got solar panels as well. Now the solar panels and all the gubbins are in here. The solar panels are designed to give you free hot water in the sunny summer months. So not a bad thing with rising energy costs. Back into the kitchen. And this is where the property has been extended. Two story extension, really cleverly done with the help of an architect. You've then got the contrast of these oversized yet lighter white ceramic tiles. Granite work surfaces offset against white high gloss units. You've got a double Bosch stainless steel ledged oven and grill above, a recess for a fridge freezer, loads and loads of unit spaces, deep pan drawers around here. You've got induction hob with a nice extractor here, which doesn't take, take up too much room. Plumbing for the dishwasher 
Again, you've got windows to the side, another little window on this side, and then you've got a full set of bifold doors which take you onto this large Indian stone patio area. I'll take you out to the garden, but as you can see, it's got complete privacy, so you can sit at your dining table. There is not a window inside. The property backs on to lots of properties gardens on Kingsmead, so it's a really fortunate position. All whitely decorated in this room with a statement wall at the back. So that is the ground floor accommodation, but just as impressive is the first floor accommodation, which if you follow me up, we've got a nice staircase, which leads you to the first floor, where there are four double bedrooms, one of which has got an ensuite. Now I'll take you into bedroom two first, which is the original main bedroom. So a really good size second bedroom. You've got the bay, we feel really high up and elevated here. We're elevated on the driveway. Up here, we really feel as if we're high above the lane. You can just about see the golf course, but that's being a real estate agent there, trying to find a view just about. We've got this triple large built-in wardrobe with sliding doors. And again, the extra window on the side just brings in lots and lots of light. And again, this has been a teenager's room. There's plenty of room for a double bed, a desk for studying, a sofa for relaxing on, a chaise longue in front of the window. Great sized bedroom number two. A lot of these doors are original, but then the chrome handles just to modernize somewhat. So the master bedroom is now to the rear of the property. Another good sized double bedroom, again with the triple sliding door wardrobes, offering plenty of storage. I'll show you the view of the rear garden from up here, which probably explains the view the best, showing that it's got a hedge back boundary and then you're overlooking several gardens which cut across you. And then we're on to the ensuite. So again, underfloor heating, nicely tiled, and the shower has got the same system. And I'll let you go past me there. The shower's got the same system again. It's an Aqualisa digital system, which allows you to set the temperature before you enter the shower. So, love these little mod cons. You've also got your loft access up here. It's got a pull down ladder and the loft has been partially boarded for storage. Take you back around the corner and then bedroom three. Again, good sized double bedroom, currently used as a table tennis room, but again, you've got the triple sliding door wardrobe and a further double wardrobe behind. So plenty of storage in this room. And again, wonderful views of the back garden. So bedroom three, you've got a really, really deep storage cupboard here on the landing. It goes back a long, long way. I won't show you, but it's got loads and loads of storage. And then the wonderful main family bathroom. This large, large walk-in shower cubicle, same system as here. You set your, your controls here digitally. So now we're into the garden. So straight off the bifold doors, we've got this large Indian stone patio area and pathway which continues. West is over this way, so you're sure to get the last bits of sun on these two patio areas over here. The sun kind of comes around, sort of like so during the daytime, so you either move to the back patio or this patio dependent on the time of day. The garden is a good size, it's just the right size I think, it's a good size family garden, enough room for a football goal, that's the main thing. As I mentioned before, completely private. New fences put in January of this year, the lawn's in really good condition, the hedge is low maintenance because it's been well looked after. Down the side is a really useful area where you grow your vegetables, well, the present owners do, and it's hidden out of the way. Good place to hide your bins, your recycling equipment, wheelbarrows, but then you've also got a nice greenhouse here. So if you fancy growing your own, you've got the start of, of an apple tree there, so you could actually start to think about growing more fruit and have an orchard. So that's the back garden. Nice square shape, but plenty of colour and light to it. And as we come down, watching the step, we've got the football goal area, detached garage with a twist. It's got a UPVC double glazed window, two UPVC double glazed personal doors, and the back end of the garage has been converted into a gym. But again, it's had a, a ceiling put on, so it's not feeling cold and rough. It's been, been painted and carpeted. So nice gym, but any sort of hobby could work in here as well. So nice extra outbuilding there. And then last but not least, we've got the front end of the garage, which is still a good size. Nice new up and over door and some nice ceiling cloth, which just make, cleans up the bathroom, the bathroom, the garage finish. There's even a drain within the garage, which is clever 1950s thinking. So 
that's the tour of both the house and the gardens. I'll just take you back into the garden rather than finishing up in a garage. So I think it's got an awful lot to offer. I stand here and just look across, and I think it's got a lovely garden. As you can see here, this showcases the double story extension, which has been done completely in keeping with the original brickwork. So if you'd like to come and view number 15 Upton Lane, give us a call at Current Homes. Or if you want to ask us some more questions, we'd love to help. Our number is 01244 313 900. Thank you.